Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I'm here playing some Magic, and today I am rolling with my Is It deck that I just drafted. I really like this deck, it was one of my more favorite decks to play. And my first trying to get um, matched up against one of my friends who doesn't play that much with us. He plays like, I don't know, if we do 10 drafts he'll play in one, maybe two of them. So he's not, he's not as used to it. I think this may be his second or third time drafting RTR, but he drafted a pretty sweet deck. And it's not like, it's definitely not a deck that I would ever draft. Because it just it just has a lot of cards that I'm not too high on, but they're definitely still pretty good cards. Something like Soul Tithe, which you'll see has a huge impact on this game. But he's got nothing early on, so and um, I played a Cross Down Courier turn two and an Ashdell at turn three, so I'm just beating in for four uh, every turn. And now he's you can if you can uh, if you can see you got some Eagle Eyes and you can see that he's got a Soul Tithe in hand and he's about to play it. And he's going to put it on my Ash Hellet. So that's a little bit annoying, considering I only have three lands right now, and I want to be able to develop my board. But I also, he doesn't have, at the same time, he doesn't have any creatures, so I just want to be able to punch in for some damage, too. So um, I'm just going to pay the uh, pay the two. And it really stunts my growth. I mean, what, what also hurt is the fact that I, I can't draw a land. But um, I'm still hitting him for four and milling him for two, whatever, no big deal. And he's he's at 12 now, so that's pretty good. I'm getting there. Um, and he's going to play, I think, a Vassal Soul here. And then you're going to see me make a really questionable play. And I can actually explain the reason for it, though uh, I'm still not 100% sure if it was the right move. He plays a Vassal Soul. Um, again, I choose to um, keep my Lance tapped because I know that I can get in for some more damage, and he's already down to 12, so all I need to do is get in for some final damage towards the end. Um, I draw Bluster Squall here, and I think I've got 8 cards in hand. Um, that can really be the... I can't remember if this is what happened, but that's the only thing that I can possibly think of for the reason why I would make this play. But I'm going to play a Bluster Squall to tap his Vassal Soul. Uh, he might not have even blocked if I attacked. He probably would have traded with the Crosstown Courier, and then I would have had to sacrifice my Ash Zealot eventually, and then I would lose both my creatures, which would not be fun considering I don't have too much power in my hand. I think I'm holding a Hover Bear and it isn't Static Aster as my only creatures that I can cast. Um, but anyway, that was that was okay, but Bluster Squall I generally want to save for like if I have a couple of Goblin Electromancers out and then... I can tap his entire board down and swing in for four or five, four or six, eight, something like that. But now he plays uh, the most important card of the game. He plays a Righteous Authority. And um, here's... Uh, <laughs> so I'm not sure if I if I have it in hand yet, but I know at some point in the game I have a Syncopate in hand. And if I hadn't had to tap my mana every turn, even if I wasn't playing Hover Barriers or something like that, then I would have been able to Syncopate that. But he decides to swing in here, and that makes me say, okay, I will keep my Agile alive for yet another turn and swing in for uh, this <laughs> not the last damage but taking him all the way down to four life and now all I need to do is um, just find some random thing to kill him but um, <laughs> I've got two mana up and I've got a syncopate in hand you can see it's in the front of my hand because I am planning on playing it but <laughs> unfortunately for me my opponent okay so my opponent plays a line and he's like you know what I actually don't want to play this yet I'm going to tap my mana or first he's going to attack me um, and it's going to be because he doesn't want to, uh, he didn't want to play the land before he attacked, and then he's going to tap his mana, and he, that's five, and then he's like, oh wait, I want to tap another one, so I'm going to play this land, and I'm going to play a Palisade Giant, and that just really sucks for me, because I would I could have had a Syncopate for one um, if he hadn't played that extra land, but as it, as it turns out, he has an Ethereal Armor, and he had already tapped his white mana, so um, he could have just tapped... Um, Oh no, so since he since he had the Ethereal Armor, um, he had to, uh, I think, tap the way he did, because he only had an island in hand, so he wouldn't have been able to play the Ethereal Armor if he had tapped out for the Palisade Giant. So <laughs> it was just unfortunate that he had that Ethereal Armor, not because it did anything, but because um, I, couldn't, I couldn't really deal with it. But anyway, here, I'm not in such great shape, because now I have to deal with this Palisade Giant, and you need seven power on board to deal with the Palisade Giant, and I've got... Who? So um, the the worst part about this whole situation is that um, not that he can even attack me or anything, but just that he's got he's got the uh, 
the Righteous Authority, so he's drawing two cards every turn, and even though I've still got cards in hand, he's just going to be able to find answers for anything that I can do. So um, my my overall plan here is to just get to enough mana where Street Spasm can kill the Palisade Giant, and then I can kill him in one turn with Teleportal, which I've got in my hand. So, I, I mean, I still need to drop that Is it Staticaster that I've got in my hand, but he can attack for one with the Teleportal. So all I really need to do is just get up to eight lands, end step Street Spasm, kill his Palisade Giant, and then uh, untap play my is it static caster which has haste so um, I can attack with it the turn it comes out and then play a teleportal but if I'm only at, I'm only at five right now so I just basically need to stall and, um, until I can do that and that seems like possible I guess since I've got the the hover barrier and here is an unfortunate play and I don't know if it's unfortunate or just stupid but I decide to in action injunction the vassal soul and, I mean, the Vassal Souls really, it's not too big of a deal. It's not getting through me. I mean, I guess it could get through me because um, he's got two cards in hand. Um, so now um, I, he'll, it'll be a 6-6 six, six next turn. So that means that it'll be able to, well, but next turn it won't be able to attack. But for some reason, I still find it necessary to arrest it here. And this really cost me the game, I think. Um, it was already it was already detained. And I don't really need my mana next turn, right? Because I have... 5, 6, so even if I get to 7, I still can't kill the um, the Palisade Giant at this point. But, yeah, so that, that's just unfortunate. So he draws two cards, and guess what they are? Knightly Valor and Ethereal Armor. So he keeps drawing the cards that he needs, which is fair, because he's got a Righteous Authority, so he should be drawing the cards that he needs at this point in the game. So he, he obviously can't attack with his... Um, with his thing, with his Vassal Soul. And I just figured the Vassal Soul will be the biggest threat for the rest of the game, and there's no way that he can ever make anything a bigger threat than a Righteous authority Vassal Soul. But uh, it turns out that I was wrong, because if you can if you can take a look at his hand, he's got a Fencing Ace, a Knightly Valor, and an Ethereal Armor, already with a Righteous Authority on a Vassal Soul. So I feel like you guys can see what's coming. But then again, if I hadn't arrested um, the Vassal Soul, he could have just... Um, put the ethereal armor on the on the vassal soul and then it still would have been gigantic i mean i'm only at nine life he did attack me twice which is another thing that really hurt when he uh when he had that soul tithe on my dude i had my hover barrier in hand forever i just couldn't cast it because of uh the thing but anyway since i arrested my dude last turn or actually no that wouldn't matter i was thinking that um the is it static caster would have been able to take out the fencing ace but all damage would have just gone to the um, the Palisade Giant, but I suppose if I had, um, played the Is It Static Caster, then maybe I could have Street Spasm to kill the thing, the, uh, Palisade Giant if I had drawn a land here. Um, so that is one thing that I could have done differently, but it wouldn't really have mattered. Um, I don't think that there is any chance that I'm able to win this game. I still think about it for a, a long time at this point. Um, I'm trying to just find a way for me to... Um, just chump lock this turn with my hover barrier, but then I'm still two turns away from killing him with the teleportal because I still need to take out the, uh, the palisade giant. So anyway, I'm going to pass the turn here. There's really not much I can do. I'm holding a teleportal, a street spasm, and a, uh, um, hmm. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, how much, it probably wouldn't have done more damage if I had just overloaded the street spasm because if it, it'll do two damage to each of his creatures. Huh. Oh, wait, no, because they're all flying. Wait, um, so how many of his creatures actually fly? Runewing, and so he has three creatures, so yeah, it would not have been able to take it out. I would have needed to overload it for eight mana, right? Yeah, to do it for three. So yeah, if if his creature, if Street Spasm hit flyers, though, then I would have been able to do it for two mana, so I would have been able to hit him for six, and if I had just not played the Trans Guild Promenade, maybe? I don't know. Either way, he's going to be attacking me with a whole bunch of stuff. He Lee of Sky Knight detained my hover barrier, so I'm just going to have to throw my Crossdown Courier away here. And um, not really a good situation for me, because now all I have left is the hover barrier to block, and I'm going to be at 5, so I'm dead to a Lee of Sky Knight plus a Knight or a Rune Wing attack, and not to mention the Palisade Giant, which he could have been swinging this whole time, but I guess it probably wouldn't have mattered. I would have just blocked my hover barrier, but still... Um, probably should have done that, especially this turn he should have attacked with it, because yeah, there's no downside to attacking with it. Um, I would have just ended up blocking it with my Is It Staticaster, I think, but still... Or no, I have to block the Knight with the Is It Staticaster. I don't know. 
Whatever. Overall, oh wow, I don't even block the knight with my is it static caster? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't even I don't even know. So here I am like trying to criticize my opponent's plays and I'm just making stupid plays like that. Like I, I think I play the is it static caster and step and I don't even I don't even block the the two power coming in with it. That's really stupid. Um, I guess I just didn't see it at the time. Anyway, um, this game is just gonna end pretty quickly. I'm gonna draw an is it charm here, and I'm just gonna cycle it because there's really um, there's no way I win um, unless I can find something in my deck. I don't think there's anything in my deck that can help me win, but I guess I may as well check it out. <laughs> I mean, the Palisade Giant makes him pretty safe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this game, and you should all have a wonderful day. Bye.